name's Fiona and welcome back to Crafty by Rose. In today's video we are going to be doing an updated version of my Diamond Art Club stash. So all the paintings you're going to see in this video are all from Diamond Art Club. So let's get stuck in. So first up we have Camilla Lady. Camilla Lady is by Mandy Manzano. It is a round diamond painting and is 55 centimetres by 83 centimetres. Here is the canvas for Camilla Lady. Then we have A Mother's Love by Jojo's Arts. This is another round diamond painting and this one's a little bit smaller. It's 56 centimetres by 41 centimetres. And this is the canvas for A Mother's Love by Jojo's Arts. Next up we have I Miss You, this is another Mandy Manzano painting, this one is a round and it is 55 centimetres by 76 centimetres. Now let's have a look at the canvas. So this, this, this is the Mandy Manzano's I Miss You canvas. There we go. These are the drills for I Miss You by Mandy Manzano. So we've got some really nice bright colours here. Next up we have Christmas at Town Square. This is by Chuck Pinson. This is another round and it is 71 centimetres by 56. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is the canvas for Christmas at Town Square by Chuck Pinson. This is a really nice Christmas themed diamond painting. So let's have a look at this canvas. We're going to do this in sections. It's a little bit big for my diamond painting area. So there we go. If we go across the top first, move down a bit. These are the drills for Christmas at Town Square. So we've got a really nice colour palette here. Mixtures of dark colours and brighter colours. Got a nice balance. Next up we have Queen Zahara by Andrea Garvey. This is a 51 centimetres by 64 centimetres. Now let's have a look at the canvas itself. So this is the canvas for Queen Zahara. As we can see, it's a lovely, bright and colourful diamond painting. It's all the bright colours that drew me to this particular canvas. So let's get you up top and work our way down. It's just got some really beautiful colours in this. I'm very much looking forward to doing this one at some point. Here are the drills for Queen and Sahara. They're lovely bright colours. I love this colour palette. Next up is Bay by Hannah Lynn. This is another round diamond painting and it's 56 centimetres by 76 centimetres. So let's have a look at the canvas. Here's the canvas for Bay by Hannah Lynn. It's a lovely painting and the purples in this really called out to me. It's probably that and the magical element of it with the fairy are probably the two main things that called me to this painting. I just love all of the shades of purple in this. It's going to be a dream for me to work on. And here are the drills for Faye. We've got some really nice purple shades in there and bits of blue and green and yellow mixed in. So really nice colour palette. Next up we have Wild Flowers and Butterflies by Gina Jane and this is a round diamond painting. It is 84 centimetres by 56. Let's have a look at the canvas. So here is the canvas for Wild Flowers and Butterflies. This is a rather large canvas. This is 84 by 56 and again it's a very bright and colourful diamond painting. Here are the drills for wild flowers and butterflies. This one has a lot of blue in it because we are going to be painting a lot of the sky in this one. Next up we have Divine Instinct by Ravine Phelan. 
This is a round diamond painting and it is 56 centimetres by 71. So let's get into this canvas. This is the Divine Instinct canvas by Raveen Phelan. And I love all the oranges in this. It really makes the eyes pop. And the background of this is going to be a colour blocking dream. I do love colour blocking. These are the drills for Divine Instinct. We've got a lot of blues from navy to middle blues to light blues. It is very much a blue themed painting. We do have little pops of colour in the painting here and there. Next up we have Vera by Bailey J. This is another round diamond painting. It is 51 centimetres by 71 centimetres. I mean, this is one of the first diamond paintings I got when I started getting my kits from Diamond Art Club. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is the canvas for Vera by Bailey J. This one is going to be a lot of colour blocking. So if colour blocking is not your thing, you may want to avoid this one i personally love this image and i love color blocking so i had to have this it's the background that's going to be the majority of the color blocking but we do have some nice bright pops of color in there here are the drills for vera Next up, we have The Seer by Emile Girard. This is a square diamond painting. It is 56 centimetres by 79 centimetres. This was one of the first square kits I got from Diamond Art Club. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is the canvas for The Seer by Emile Girard. What drew me into this, towards this painting was all the detail in a headdress i really do love this detail going around her and i really love the teals in this painting and hints of turquoise as well so that is the seer by emile Girard. here are the drills so these are the, the drills for the seer We've got some reds, browns, tans, and then we've got the all different shapes of turquoise and teal. There we go. Next up, we have One Worth Melting For by Mandy Manzano. This is a round. So this is 42 centimetres by 125 centimetres. This was part of the Disney Princesses series that Mandy Manzano did. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is the canvas for One Worth Melting For. I'm going to unroll it in sections because it is really long. It is 125 centimetres long, so it'll be easier for me to show you in sections. Here are the drills for one worth melting for. This does have a fair bit of retin in it, but that's to be expected with a Mandy Manzano piece. We have our different shades of blue and quite a few reds in there as well. Reds and browns. So next up we have the Snow Queen by Mandy Manzano. Is a round. It is 42 centimetres by 97 centimetres. Let's get into the canvas. So this is the Snow Queen by Mandy Manzano. And because this is so long, I am going to unroll this in sections. Here are the drills for Snow Queen by Mandy Manzano. Lots of shades of blue, which is what called me out to this. 
I lo do love blues and purples and any painting that tends to be in that colour palette I'll most likely like it. Next up we have Hipster Boston Terrier by Mary Lynn Kazanov. This is a partial diamond painting and it is around and 41 centimeters by 48 let's get into the canvas here we have hipster boston terrier by mary lynn kazanov so this is a partial so the you don't have to diamond paint the background it's only the body of the dog that you drill i just thought it was nice cute little painting that would get done quickly and here are the probably the smallest pack of drills I've seen from a Diamond Art Club kit. So we just got a few blacks, brown, blacks and browns in there with a little bit of red and white mixed in. Next up we have The Governor's Party by Chuck Pinson. This is a square kit. It is 84 centimetres by 56 centimetres. So let's have a look at the canvas. So this is the Governor's Party by Chuck Pinson. It was a painting that I was planning to do for this Christmas. At the moment, I am indecisive between this and another one of Chuck Pinson's. I haven't made my mind up yet. Next up, we have a new release by Diamond Art Club. This is Christmas Deer by Chuck Pinson. This is the other Christmas themed diamond painting. I'm currently debating whether to to start now so this is a square it is 56 centimeters by 74 centimeters let's have a look at the canvas so here we have christmas deer by chuck pinson i'm loving all of the purple shades in this painting we've got the darker shades of purple in the sky and some really light ones here in the bottom in the snow and here are the drills for christmas deer as we can see lots of shades of purple and yellow and a few light yellow shades are mixed in next up we have scaredy cats by jeff haney this is a square diamond painting and it is 71 centimeters by 56 let's have a look at the canvas so here we have scaredy cats by jeff haney I just love this canvas and this will probably be my Drills and Chills diamond painting for 2022. Here are the drills for Scaredy Cats. It's a nice mixture of purples and oranges for the pumpkin. So it's my favourite kind of colour palette. Next up is Midnight by Deborah Malcolm. This is a relatively new release from Dom Dark Club, released was it last month or so or so. So let's have a look at the canvas. So this is Midnight by Deborah Malcolm. So we have lots of shades of blue and purple in this painting. And here we have the drills. This is a big pack of drills. As we can see, nice shades of purple and so, a quite a lot of blue from darks to lights. Next up, we have Eden Floral by Suzanne Wingett. This is a square diamond painting and it is 51 centimeters by 51. So the canvas is square. Let's have a look at the canvas. So here is Eden Floral by Suzanne Wingett. These are the drills for Eden Floral. Some very beautiful pastel shades. It's the pastel shades in this that called out to me. I think it's going to be beautiful when it's done. Next up. We have Milky Way Galaxy by CYC. This is another square painting and it is 56 centimetres by 76. This was the very first square painting I got. Sia was the second, but this was the first. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is Milky Way Galaxy by CYC. 
and what drew me into this was the this sky on this it's got reminds me very much of an acrylic pour type kind of painting so let's move you down and there we go and here are the drills for Milky Way Galaxy. There are lots of bright pinks, purples, reds and blues in this painting and some oranges as well. Here we have Easter Bunny Basket. This is why Suzanne winged it. This is another square painting. It is 86 centimetres by 51 centimetres. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is Easter Bunny Basket by Suzanne Wingett. It has the beautiful pastels in it. So here are the drills for Easter Bunny Basket. There are a, quite a few green shades in this. I don't think I was expecting that many, but in reality, if you look at the painting, there are a lot. I just didn't really seem to realise it at the time, but that's okay. Up next, we have Make a Wish and Take a Bite by Mandy Manzano. This was another one of the Disney Princess series. It is a square. It is 42 centimetres by 106 centimetres. So it is a rather long diamond painting. Let's get into the canvas. So this is the canvas for Mandy Manzano's Make a Wish and Take a Bite. Because this is so long, I am going to unroll it in sections. And I just love this painting, especially the background at the top. Just love it. When I do this painting, I will be swapping out the drills in her eyes. I think with the colours they've got in, with the black, yellow and orange, they seem really creepy to me. So I will be swapping out the colours there. And her dress in this is beautiful. Just so much of this canvas. <laughs> It just keeps going and going. So there's the bottom. Go back up. So there is another part of this painting that I love. Is her holding the apple. Here are the drills for Make a Wish and Take a Bite. So we do have a fair bit of 310 in this, but that's to be expected with Mandy Manzano's paintings. And you've got to remember, she does have that stained glass painting style, so you will naturally have a lot of black. But there are lots of bright colours in this as well, so you it's well balanced. Next we have Deep Sea Beauties by Simone Camadini. This was a diamond painting that I wanted when it was first released but it sold out really quickly and it took quite a while to come back into stock. So if with Diamond Art Club you find a painting you love and it is out of stock, if you click on it and scroll down past the image, normally underneath there will be a box asking you to put in your email. If you put in your email address in that box, then it will send you a notification of when it is back in stock and then you don't miss out and you're not having to look every single day, which I think is great. And I take make use of that feature quite a bit. So Deep Sea Beauties by Simone Canadini. It is a square. It is 56 centimetres by 71. Let's have a look at the canvas. Here we have Deep Sea Beauties, the canvas. So I'll just do, show you in sections. So I love the rainbow colours in her hair. 
and it does have some shades of purple in which I love. The other, I think the other thing that drew me to this is when I, I was a kid my favourite cartoon was the Little Mermaid so yeah I think that was part of it, it was the, the nostalgia of it. So here are the thrills for Deep Sea Beauties. A lot of pastels. So you've got your mints, mint colours, you've got your light blues, you've got pinks, pam, pinks and purples and some cherry reds. So very much looking forward to doing this kit. So here we have Jackalope. Well, I'll just start again. Here we have Jackalope Junction Garden. This is by Sheena Pike. So this is a square and I just love this painting. It's all the bright colours and the bunny rabbit. Yeah, love it. So 56 by 71 centimetres. Let's have a look at the canvas. So here we have Jackalope Junction Garden. Bring you down, show you this in sections. I just love this, the colours in this so much. And I am hoping to do this as my Easter DP next year for 2022. I have to say, normally I'm not a big fan of Sheena Pike's work, but I absolutely love this. I think it's beautiful. I think it's the pastel colours in it and the bunny rabbit. Yeah, just love this painting. So these are the drills for Jackalope Junction Garden. Really nice, nice bright pastels. And the drills are nice and clear and clean. Up next we have Star Makeup by Yumi Art. This is another square diamond painting and it is 51 centimeters by 76 centimeters. Let's get into the canvas. So this is the Star Maker canvas. You'll notice that the image on the canvas looks much brighter than the one on the box and on the original artwork. This is the original artwork by Yumi Art and this is DIC's version. So Yumi Art's version, Diamond Artwork. I love how it's that much brighter. I think it really makes it pop. I'm just loving this tiger. I didn't expect to like this kind of painting. I don't tend to do many tiger paintings, but it's just how this tiger seems to glow in the water. Love it. So let's roll you, do show you this in sections and I'll roll it out so you can properly appreciate this canvas. There we go, so that is Star Maker. Here are the drills for Star Maker. So as you would probably expect, there are a lot of shades of blue in this from darks to lights with a few shades of green and brown mixed in. So here we have Aquarius by Josephine Wall. And what I loved about this is the shades of purple in this painting. This is a square. It is 70 centimetres by 89 centimetres. They've swapped the inches and centimetres. They've made a little printing error, but it is 70 centimetres by 89 centimetres. Let's have a look at the canvas, shall we? So this is Aquarius by Josephine Wall. This is part of her Star Sign series. 
I myself am not an Aquarius. I didn't buy it for that particular reason. I just loved this image. So with it being so large, I am going to show you in sections. So start at the top. I love Josephine Wall's work. I just, she's one of my favourite artists that DAC have. Let's see if we can. It's just so large. Now we have Aquarius with a ginormous pack of drills. Lots of shades of blue and yellow. And we've got some purples in there so yeah very much looking forward to doing this one so this is the last kit diamond art club kit sorry i'll say that again this is the last diamond art club kit i have in my stash and it's one of the newest latest ones that i've bought this is snow queen by josephine wall Again, I did want to get this one when it first came out, but it sold out rather quickly. But I did sign up for email notification of when it came back in stock, and I made sure to get it when it did. So this is Snow Queen by Josephine Wall. It is a square. It is 70 centimetres by 88 centimetres. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is Snow Queen by Josephine Wall. And because this, again, because this is so large, I am going to roll it out in sections to make it easier to, for you to see. So I, this is a perfect painting to do this time of year. It's very much, to me, it feels like a Christmas theme. So you have the polar bears, the foxes, the geese. That's what... I love about Josephine Moore's paintings there's so many details and you don't always notice them straight away it can take a couple of viewings before you notice them all because sometimes you'll look at it and something will pop out at you and you'll think well I swear I didn't see that before so that is Snow Queen here are the drills for Snow Queen lots of shades of blue and purple which, as we know, is one of my favourite colour palettes. And we've got a, quite a few pastel shades in there as well. So that is Snow Queen. So that is the end of my updated Diamond Art Club stash video. I have done one of these previously, but I've bought quite a few more since that one. So I just wanted to do an updated version and one that had a little bit more detail in it. I've really enjoyed looking at all these kits with you today and I hope you've enjoyed having a look at them with me. If you have liked this video then please do give this video a like. If you would like to see more content like this and you're not already subscribed then please do click on the subscribe button. If you are subscribed already then please do make sure you have your notifications bell turned on. That way you'll get a notification of when I upload another video and you won't miss out. With that said, thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!